Over the past few years, thousands of families have decided to relocate their family to Franklin, Tennessee for a variety of different reasons. Franklin's booming job market, highly rated schools, close proximity to Nashville, and small town feel are just some of the reasons why so many people are moving to the area. In today's video, I'm going to tell you what you can expect while living in Franklin, Tennessee in 2022 and also give you some reasons why so many people are moving there. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenna and I'm a realtor with Simply Home in the Middle Tennessee area. If you want to learn everything you should know about living in Tennessee, then be sure to subscribe because I post weekly videos. First, let me give you some backstory and tell you all about Franklin's history. The city of Franklin was founded October 26, 1799 and was named after Benjamin Franklin. A close friend of Dr. Hugh Williamson, a member of the Continental Congress for whom Williamson County was named. In years prior to the Civil War, Williamson County was one of the wealthiest counties in Tennessee. However, the Civil War devastated Franklin's economy. And the Battle of Franklin was one of the bloodiest battles in the Civil War. Slowly but surely, Franklin's economy was rebuilt after the Civil War. Present-day Franklin is located in Williamson County, which is the wealthiest county in Tennessee and one of the wealthiest counties in the nation. Through antebellums and Victorian-style homes, Civil War museums, and historic downtown square, Franklin reveals its history in so many different ways. Although many of Franklin's roots tell a story of the past, Franklin today is a mix of small town charm and big city culture. Just 30 minutes from Nashville, Franklin's residents are close to the hustle and bustle of the music city. And in the city of Franklin, you'll find all of your essential amenities, including shopping malls, unique dining experiences, entertainment, and plenty of well-kept parks. The Cool Springs Galleria has 178 stores, including an Apple Store, Pottery Barn, Banana Republic, American Girl Store, and so many more retail favorites. This mall is easily accessible to Interstate 65 and is a great place to spend an afternoon in the Cool Springs area. Living in Franklin also means you have close access to grocery stores like Whole Foods, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, Kroger, and Publix. You'll also find plenty of shopping in the downtown area on Main Street. You can find boutiques including Aubrey P, CT Grace, Finley's, and Posh. Puckett's, Grays on Main, and Brick Tops are all fantastic restaurants that you'll find in the downtown square. And Franklin has fun festivals year-round, including the annual Main Street Festival, Pumpkin Fest, Movies in the Park, Christmas Parade, Dickens of Christmas, and so many more. One of the main reasons why so many people love living in Franklin is that Franklin has that small town, close-knit feel while having big city amenities. And we really see this with how the city is laid out. There are approximately 83,000 people who live in Franklin and residents feel they enjoy an excellent quality of life. According to a survey done by National Research Center's National Citizen Survey, 97% respondents ranked quality of life in Franklin as excellent or good, placing them eighth in the nation for quality of life. Additionally, 84% of respondents were pleased with the way that the city has managed its growth. City planners in Franklin prioritize preserving its rich history and natural green space. There are 18 city parks, including Pinkerton Park, Bicentennial Park, and Jim Warren Park, just to name a few. And in Franklin, you'll have a selection of both private and public golf courses. Cheekwood, Deercrest at Temple Hills Country Club, and West Haven are all fantastic courses. Business Week magazine named Franklin as one of the top 50 cities to start a small business. The magazine states Franklin has universal qualities such as affordability, availability of talented labor pool, existence of a thriving business community, and quality of life. They credit a large part of the success of small businesses in Franklin to the citizens' eagerness to support locally owned businesses. Also, the people of Franklin earn an average of $66,000 a year, and the average median household income is close to $100,000. Community health systems, Nissan North American, and United Healthcare are some of Franklin's top employers. Considering its low 2.5% unemployment rate, high salaries, and prospering local businesses, 
Franklin has a strong business community that bolsters its thriving economy. In terms of Franklin's real estate market, Franklin has seen quite a boom over the last decade. Just over this last year, the median list price went up by 117%. Franklin's residential real estate appreciated 74.42% over the last 10 years, which is an average annual home appreciation rate of 5.72%, putting Franklin in the top 10% nationally for real estate appreciation. Currently, Franklin's median sales price for a home is around $723,000. This means homes are selling for an average of over $250 per square foot. And last year, Franklin's market had on average between a two to four month supply of homes on the market at a time. And keep in mind that a six month supply is typically what we see in a healthy, balanced market. This means because of the short supply of homes in the Franklin real estate market, you'll most likely be competing with other offers that go over list price to win a home here in Franklin. Some Franklin homes are going anywhere from 20 to $100,000 over list price or more. So I would expect quite a bit of competition if you're gonna buy in the Franklin real estate market. If you have any questions about buying a home in Franklin or any other questions about living in Franklin, be sure to reach out to me. You can find all of my contact information in the description. Franklin's cost of living is a whole 35% higher than the national average. Things like groceries, gas, and utilities are most likely going to be more expensive in Franklin than surrounding Tennessee cities. So be prepared to spend a pretty penny if you wanna live the Franklin lifestyle. In terms of walkability, I would say Franklin is somewhat walkable. If you live close to the square, you can absolutely run errands on foot, but in most parts of Franklin, you need a car for transportation. The average commute time in Franklin is only 22 minutes, but be mindful that Franklin has rush hour traffic in the mornings and evenings on weekdays. And since Franklin is only 30 minutes away from Nashville, many of its residents commute daily. If you move to Franklin, you should expect to enjoy all four seasons. Tennessee has a very mild temperate climate. During the early months of the year, we tend to get quite a bit of rain, which leads to beautiful blooms and lush greenery in the spring and summertime. The most comfortable months temperature-wise in Franklin are May, September, and October. You'll get to enjoy all of the outdoor activities that Franklin has to offer during these times of the year. Summer times get pretty humid and hot with temperatures in the 80s to 90s and winter can bring a few snowfalls and freezing temperature at times. Now next, let's talk about schools in Franklin. There are two school districts that cover Franklin. Williamson County Schools is the first and has over 40,000 students enroll every year. Franklin Special School District is the second and has over 3,500 students enroll annually. Both of these districts offer gifted programs and include highly rated schools. If you and your family are considering a move to Franklin, then feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have about living here. Historic Franklin offers some of the best suburban living outside of Nashville that you can find, so be sure to explore Franklin the next time you are visiting Tennessee. And if you want to learn about what living in Murfreesboro is like, then watch my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.